Hi guys and welcome to another squad builder by myself, Bateson87 and as you can see by the team name on the left hand side it's a fun silver hybrid team and it's affordable as well. Um, I will put in the title of the video because I will do it on the date of uh, release of this video how much the team did cost and I can see now that it's going to cost you between 50 and 100k depending on uh, on what day you buy it what time you buy it and stuff like that but there will be an accurate price to how much i paid for it on the day in the title so first things first go and check out fifa coins online for your ultimate team coin needs their facebook link is in the description make sure you drop a like on that page so let's get on with this team and show you how good it actually is so let's set the parameter parameters up for the goalkeeper and we're going to go with um <clears throat> The Serie A link first. So we're going to go with Neto in uh, in net 73 rated Brazilian goalkeeper for uh, Fiorentina. Very solid keeper, really. He's not as overpowered as he was last year, but he's still a very quality keeper. The silver, the all the centre backs this in this team are going to be non-rare as well. <clears throat> so there was a bit of a voice crack there. That sperm still drying up in the back of the back of the foot. So the ones that we are going to go with for chemistry purposes directly in the middle, we're going to go with Santa Croce. Santa Croc on the right hand on the left hand side sorry not the left I get mixed up my left and right you know need lot need to benefit give me the benefit of doubt for that um on the left hand side it's going to be another Serie A player and it is Aria Udo you might struggle getting this guy because he gets discarded quite a lot when I purchased him he cost me just over 1k but there was only a, a few of them on the market which is a bit unfortunate I did try uh trading with this guy when I thought I could trade few months ago I made like 300 coins yeah I'm what fucking poor trader dickhead uh, moving on to the left hand side it's also going to be another non-rare defender and this guy is going to play in the Hellas League to get chemistry on the right hand side uh, which guy was it though Ooh, it's very hard trying to find him there he is no he is yeah there he is Manolas 72 pace Greek defender now he will link up with some of the uh well the main side of that and then that side will go with that and then and then the team will look really good and fun and we score goals and do rainbow flicks and roulettes and stuff really good five star skill compilation and what yeah so cdms to start off these are two of the best long shotters in the game in my opinion paulo machado if you check out his stats on footwiz they will confirm that his long shots are beastly his free cut free Three cocks, three kicks are quite beastly as well. Moving on to the left hand side, it's going to be Greco, the Italian Olympiacos player. This is for chemistry purposes also, but he is a very solid CDM, very tall as well. Well, he feels like it's six foot tall. Um, according to Footwiz, though, his long shots aren't that good, but I've scored some absolute fucking screamers with him. So that is the solid build-up of the defensive half of the team. Now let's move on to the left, where we're going to be going with pace and agility. There is a lot of players in my club, so I need to find him. And I think he is 69 rated, and he's Italian and plays for Torino. And that guy is Verdi. Now, the main stats on his face card are 88 pace, 77 dribbling. He is mainly pace. He has got a tiny shot on him. His weak foot is brilliant as well for cutting inside. Uh, and the 17 games he's played for me, he scored seven goals, which is pretty good for a left midfielder. Uh, even a better ratio than Neymar, that is. On the right side, you will find another player. Um, <clears throat> where's his fucking name? We've had him in a squad builder recently, actually, for the five-star skills. And we're going to go with Quincy again. He pays for Panathinaikos. He has five-star skills. Awesome player. 19 games and 10 goals. This is because he's a five-star skiller and I love to rate with skillers. Even though I'm not a good skiller myself, I do aim to be that, but I never will. You've also got another five-star skiller in the team. He's a 74 rated and he is Fet Fat Cedis. He plays for Olympiakos. Uh, so we've got a few Greeks. So, so far, we've got... Um, Italian League, the Hellas League, and to finish off this awesome team with two clinical strikers on the game, we're going to move into League One. I should have really set the parameters up. But the first striker on the left hand side, we're going to go with Ali Adier. The reason we're going to go with him is because I played with the team of the season version recently, 74 rated team of the season version, and he was awesome. Uh, so far, I'm not going to pay for his, his card, I'm going to play for this one. And his normal card is just as good. I really do enjoy playing with him. And to compensate for 
Well, for needing the pace, the skills, the flair, just the awesome card look next to him, we have Lacazette. There is a lot of hype around this guy on FIFA. Uh, if you play with him and also Benzia, uh, you can get a decent looking hybrid team. So he cost me 16k, that was about a week ago now. But a very solid player, 8 games, 7 goals, and then Ali Adia, 8 games, 6 goals. So very clinical strikers. What are... On paper, guys, this team is fun. On the pitch, this team is fun. It will be a team I'm going to be sporting some silver games. When I get bored of FIFA, I want to do some skills and just piss ass about, not care about my record. This is a team I will fall back on. It is very strong in defence and very strong in attack. Very solid in midfield. So every aspect of the team is awesome, really. You will enjoy it. If you do build this team, guys, let me know in the comment section below. If you've got any variations of this team as well, let me know on Twitter. My handle is at Bateson87. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is show you some of the highlights of the games we did play in the Silver Cup. Because uh, if you're going to use this team, don't head into the Gold Cup or Divisions unless you're in Division 5. Because you will get your ass handed to you. Unlike FIFA 12, you can't go up in FIFA 13 against gold teams with silvers. It's annoying, but it's a fact. So... And there we have it, my affordable silver fun team to play with. So I'll be back in a sec. So guys, these are the teams we did well. These are the teams, these are the goals we do score against the Silver Cup players. Very fun, and it is honestly fun to play in the Silver Cup now and then. Quincy there showing his running scoot turn, which is the main reason I love five-star skillers. Fet Fat Cedis with his running scoot turn, and also um, Quincy as well. Very fun to play down the left, uh, the right-hand side with this team. Told you I get mixed up my left and right. Gonna have to be a dunce and get a fucking marker pen and like draw an L on my hand when I'm commentating on videos. Or uh, something like that. An absolute awesome goal there from Ali Adier. He is a clinical finisher in front of goal. Uh, if you think you're going to miss, you'll very you'll struggle to miss with him. He's got an awesome shot on him. Finesse is really good as well. Same with Lacazette, his finesse is tidy. Now with Fet Fat Cedis, he doesn't get involved in the game. He's quite weak as well. Uh, not a player I would be challenging with. I'd be flaring with him doing the flipper flapper, the roulette, the rainbow flick, the... Uh, Reverse Elastico, fat, ba fat Bad Drakes and stuff like that. don't know how to say that, but it sounded really good, didn't it? Yeah, I enjoy that word as well. Um, with Quincy, he's got a decent shot on him. Running from the inside to the... Uh, running from the ins outside to the inside is very dangerous for the opposition. He will get a few penalties as well. Did get a few penalties in these games, but I never did uh, put them in. This was a tidy finish as well from Ali Adair to save my blushes and take a game into extra time, I think it was. Uh, and then we went into extra time and we completely raped Verdu, who... Verdi, sorry. Who's not a player who does score clinically for me did score two very tidy goals running from the inside uh funny running from the outside to the inside what the fuck am i on about um but a very nice player i didn't get a long i did get a long shot sorry with makedo but i don't ever put it in the game i do apologize for that uh greco on the second spell of using him he never scored a long shot with me but trust me when you start levering them uh, you will score some very, very nice goals. Lacazette, very solid striker. Not going to say too much about him. But Ali Adier and him are two perfect strikers. Defence, very fast, very solid. You won't have any trouble defending as long as he's 3-5-2. And you are solid with it. There we have Lacazette breaking through and scoring a decent goal. So there we have it, guys. We're coming to the end of the video now. I hope you have severely enjoyed this video. If you have immensely enjoyed it, remember to drop a like. Also, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Remember to check out FIFA Coins Online for Ultimate Team coins also remember to comment in the section below if you're going to use this team what a goal that was from uh, quincy and until next time see you later